So I know my eyebrows are like super off, so I'm just gonna hold it like this until you guys forget about it. <laughs> Good God! That girl look clean right now! I ain't not seen nothing that clean. Little mama look like boysenberry pie. Look like rutabagas out this mother. Ooh, I think she got them yams. You know how I feel about them yams, man. And would you look at that right there? She done got her own ride. Mm-hmm. That girl independent. Oh my god, that's my type of chip right there. Matter of fact, hey yo, Bobby. Let me tell the people a little something real quick. Hi, hi. Hi. Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, this video is going to be about how I lay my frontals or my full lace wigs. So this right here is a full lace wig. It is 28 inches. Like as you can tell over here is not laid down. And this is my preference right here. I choose not to lay this part of it down because over here it tends to get pulled a lot and it hurts. No matter what I use, it hurts. So what I do instead is that usually I would take my finger, go like that, pull the rest back, pull down the baby hairs, and it's covered. Before I actually lay this frontal, well it's not a frontal, before I actually lay down this full lace wig, I'm going to let you guys know why I stopped using the Got To Be Ultra Glued Gel and why I started using the spray instead. So as you guys can tell, I use this a lot, like there's basically nothing, like there's very very little left. And I realized I've used this for like about three months now maybe even more like five months I've been using this but I stopped using it because it would pull on my edges way way too much the pros of the ultra glued gel is that it holds a lot longer it holds for about a day to maybe two days the hold is ridiculous it says that it doesn't flake but it does start to flake when it's ready to, to be re redone which is like probably like two days if you sleep without anything holding your head down by the next day your hair will be flake but it does not flake immediately it says non-sticky I don't know what that means by non-sticky because it does get tacky which is what you want that's when you actually apply the lace to it the cons of the ultra glued gel is that for me which is why I'm start I stopped using it it was that it was pulling on my edges being at the fact that my hairline is so close to my eyebrows I have to literally put it on my hair my hair would be glued to the lace and it would start pulling at it there'll be like sections where it's like connected here and not connected here and over here it would be pulling and it would hurt so bad where I had to like literally run and go get water and take it off so I felt like it was thinning on my edges like my eyebrows used to connect with my hairline and as you can see it's not as thick anymore like my edges are still thick don't get me wrong I'm not balding but it like it's not connecting anymore don't yeah yeah that's pretty much it and not only that I'll show you guys a clip of how the lace looks like the actual lace if you don't clean it like it under here I just cleaned it so it doesn't it looks fine but it was looking bad earlier where I had to wash the whole wig the cons of this is that it does not last that long so far that's the only con I can think of I don't mind taking off my lace wigs every night some people might not want to do that if you're you know spending a night with Bay or whatever then definitely use this 
you don't want to get either of these products on your extensions at all because it'll be very crunchy and yeah it'll just look stringy and disgusting so i'm just gonna get right on into how i install this now okay so for this i only spray it where it's needed i'm gonna let that get dry a little bit whereas the gel i would apply all over my head but to be honest, I don't flip my hair back and forth all day long for me to need it to be held down everywhere. All you really need it is in the area that you want the hold. And then you just place it down and kind of get the lace onto where you sprayed. I'm kind of like moving. It's not even tacky yet. Like I'm feeling this and it's still not fully dry. But I'm kind of like massaging the lace into it. I'm trying as hard not to like to make sure the hairs don't get flattened. right there it's not fully down but when you lay your baby hairs it's going to be fine okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna grab a small blending brush I actually just did this and I didn't record so I'm doing it again and my powder foundation I'm just gonna put a little bit on it and I'm just putting it literally right on the lace the lace is closest to the part that goes towards my skin the part that like you know the line of demarcation yeah that thing so this is what we're looking at looking like right now over here remember this side i had it i didn't lay anything down so like the very corner comes up a little like you can see none of that is laid down but this is the side that I won't be wearing. I don't recommend laying your frontals or your lace or anything like that um, before you do your makeup because then it'll just be bonded to the makeup on your face and the makeup on your face can obviously lift and it will lift. And if my previous video, my, my very first Valentine's Day look video, yeah, that frontal came off immediately after that because as I was taking off my makeup, it just came right off with it. Thank you guys for watching my video. Let me know that you liked it by leaving a thumbs up. Cause then if I just see like I get views, but I don't know if anyone's like enjoying my videos or not. Also, let me know what you guys would like me to like to see me do next. And I will also be doing a video on how I hide the grid lines in my lace. So I guess it's like a how to make your own silk based frontal or closure or whatever anything lace related yeah that's pretty much it for this video oh.